Philip Yancey said it would be easier, I sometimes think, if God had given us a set of ideas to mull over and kick around and decide whether to accept or reject. He did not. He gave us himself in the form of a person, Jesus Christ. This is Daniel White the Third with Just Jesus, a podcast designed to celebrate the birth, life, death, burial, resurrection, and ascension of the Lord Jesus Christ, the impact he has on the world and the salvation he offers for all people. This is episode number 228. The aim of this podcast is to encourage you to begin a personal relationship with Jesus Christ and to begin to live your life according to his word, his will, and his way. Our Just Jesus passage from the Word of God today is John 6.35, which reads, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, And he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Our featured Just Jesus quote today is from Billy Lobbs. He said, Does God really love us? I say, Look to the crucified Jesus. Look to the old rugged cross. By every thorn that punctured his brow, by every mark of the back lacerating scourge, by every hair of his beard plucked from his cheeks by cruel fingers, by every bruise which heavy fists made upon his head, God said, I love you, by all the spit that landed on his face, by every drop of sinless blood that fell to the ground, by every breath of pain which Jesus drew upon the cross, By every beat of his loving heart, God said, I love you. Holy Father God, we praise you and we thank you for your love. Help us, Lord, to love you back by being obedient to your holy word, by the power of your grace, and by the power of your Holy Spirit. In Jesus Christ's name we pray and for his sake. Amen. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. In the early days after Jesus' ascension to heaven, the people we now call followers of Christ or Christians simply called their new faith the way. Yes, the way to a relationship with God through Jesus Christ the way to joy, the way to peace, and the way to eternal life with God in heaven. Do you want to know the way to all of these blessings? Allow me to show you the way. First, dear friend, accept the fact that you are a sinner and that you have broken God's law. The Bible says in Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Second, accept the fact that there is a penalty for sin, a punishment for sin. The Bible states in Romans 6.23, For the wages of sin is death. Third, accept the fact that you are on the road to hell because of sin and because you have never accepted the payment for sin, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for your sins, was buried and rose again. For Jesus Christ himself said in Matthew 10:28, And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, 
but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Also, the Bible states in Revelation 21.8, But the fearful and unbelieving, and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers, and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake, which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Now, dear friend, this is bad news. But I have some good news for you. Jesus Christ said in John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Just believe in your heart in the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe that he died for your sins, was buried and rose from the dead by the power of God for you so that you can live eternally with him. Pray and ask him to come into your heart to save your soul and to change your life, and he will do it, for the Bible says in Romans ten nine through 13, the Bible says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart, your heart, that God hath raised him from the dead, thou, you, shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed, for there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved." Until next time, my beloved, please remember that at the end of the day, only one thing matters, and that's Jesus, just Jesus, and nothing else. God bless you.